all schedule. Here's the tweet from Andrea Adelson from ESPN. Uh, update here. No current scheduled president's call out of respect for what happened at UNC. We knew that. Jim Phillips, the commissioner, is going to Dallas for the college football meetings, which is tomorrow. My understanding, nobody has yet flipped on adding Cal Stanford and SMU, but talks do continue. All right. I, I just wanted this out of curiosity. Paul, you would know better than I do because I haven't gone out and, like, searched ACC Twitter and, you know, we are directly involved, so to speak, with all that happened prior to that with the Big 12. I mean, that was right here in the backyard. So we are up to date on all of kind of the emotions that were also involved in talking to one of the athletic directors on a weekly basis. Are ACC fans, like, excited about this? You know how Big 12 fans no. were excited about, like, no. like on the one hand, there's, there's like, Big 12 was excited because they just wanted to kill the pack and get revenge in a lot of ways. So there was that added, you know, emotion to it, and there's not really that here because I don't think the ACC is looking to kill the pack. But are they excited in general about, like, the new addition? Do you get that sense at all? No. Okay. Uh, I, I don't. And other than... You know, if you're a fan of Boston College, you just want the conference to stay together. Right, yeah. And you're, you're excited, okay, whatever you have to do to do that. But again, that just reeks of desperation, which doesn't mean you're on really solid footing going forward. It's like, whatever we have to do to make this work, you know, whatever we have to do. And that, that just never, that's never really works out well for, for anybody in the long run. And it's, I do like. I do think that there are like some positives that will come of this that have nothing to do with football at all. But uh, because it's going to force people into like really examining how they they logistically do Olympic sports yeah. moving forward. But outside of that, like outside of this being the test case for that very specifically, and maybe them being forced to do it before the Big Ten even would because there's less money involved. Um, I I just don't see any people like excited about like ooh. Stanford, SMU, Cal, <laughs> right. well, awesome. Now, had it been Oregon or somebody sure, that like yeah. sure. has some cachet, Utah. Utah, somebody who's won. Now, that's just kind of snobby fan stuff. But even still, I mean, it, look, and, I, and I'll just say this. If this was happening in the other direction where two of the ACC teams that were – you know, middle of the pack at best most of the time, we're all of a sudden going to the Pac-12. I'm sure Pac-12 fans would be like, all right, I mean, yeah, cool. if this is what we got to do, but, I mean, I don't really care about, you well, know, Syracuse and, and, and Pitt. You yeah. know, it just... <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it, the emotions of the Big 12 and Pac-12 were because of previous situations right. and because then... Uh, it became a turf war yeah. when it comes to e silly things like even on social media. And it got ugly and to the point where people were called a lot of different things, especially Big 12 fans in towns and cities and all that. Yeah. But, but so no, like I don't ACC see that here. And, on and all that, that. And not no. weirdos trying to pull that across and no. you know, no. make that a whole thing no. and then wondering why it gets personal no. <laughs> after you call no. people a yeah. bunch of names. But um, yeah, I just that's that's something that's clearly missing here, and I just I feel that, but like I don't know because maybe there's a corner of Twitter where like NC State guys like fired up about <laughs> the Olympic sports or so. But I I just get like there's just a flat line of like excitement over this for the most part. Well, um, we and it's out of necessity. And even when you hear like, well, all the other sports that'll be, it's like. No, but what is that? That doesn't the, bring money, though. We heard and the North what, Carolina coach and what he, the soccer right, coach, but, right? But even the talk about, like, well, hey, all these Olympic sports, and it's like, but the whole thing's about money, yes. and those are money losers. Those aren't, you know, money no. gainers. And so you're not, that's not as great as it sounds other than just having bragging rights. But how often was the ACC going like, yeah, baby, swimming and diving title, ACC, ACC. I just, you yeah, know. Yeah, there's so. pride in those sports from certain schools, but you're sure. right. As far as, and I would love to know, um, uh, yeah, it would be neat to get like a feel for, let's say this Cal Stanford and SMU thing happens and there is pro rata or whatever that is, 72 million, I think is the number uh, minus whatever else is going to be that gets knocked off or lopped off the top. The breakdown, how many teams are in the, in the ACC? 14? 15. 15? Well, if you Notre, Dame? Notre Dame, yeah. All right, well, Notre Dame, would they not get a piece of this? See, that's the other thing. I mean, we're talking about Florida State, there. Clemson, North hey. Carolina. I bet you that's something that might be hanging up Florida State and Clemson right now is, wait a minute, we're going to give Notre Dame some of this money and they're not, they're not, they, they're they're not, not sharing kicking, their money. They're not kicking in no. for us. So I just yeah. want, how it's going to, is it going to be five or six million for some, 1.5 million for others? Is it going to be 12 million for a couple? That will be interesting to see how that does break down if in fact it ever gets to that point. And on the uh, note that you just, you know, 
passed along there. Uh, good to have, you know, an update that there's still something brewing. And I don't know, I feel like I should correct myself from earlier because earlier I talked about, well, it seems inevitable because why else would you have this so publicly? Although, of course, there are the PR games that take place. And I feel like there was clearly some of that from Cal and Stanford uh, to Washington some extent. Washington State. With, well, oh, no. you about this one, yeah. Uh, Cal and Stanford in the Big 12. You know, all of a sudden, oh, the Big 12. No, they're not. No, that you know, that, that just seemed pretty unbelievable. And so that did feel like it was more of a PR move to maybe – you know, gain some momentum. But, you know, I, I now question myself because, you know, why would they so openly negotiate this if it wasn't a done deal? And then I realized, well, the Big 12 basically did this. You know, they courted these teams, what, four years ago and talked very openly about their pursuit and then in the end did nothing. Now, eventually they had to do something because then Oklahoma and Texas did leave. And so they had to go at Houston. But remember the whole courtship of nobody that took place just prior yeah. to that where they're like nope we're just gonna stay pat and got, gave everybody blue balls from houston to boise state <laughs> and you know all points in between so there's precedent you know just here recently so i guess that could happen but i don't know there's an awful lot of talk about it for for it to not go the way that it appears it's gonna go but if there's holdouts there's holdouts that's I why know. i called uh yeah. matt baker to kind of just pick his brain and he really didn't know how it was gonna go or why anyone would change unless of course it came down to someone some of the schools are going to get a little bit more and not just two or three million more. All right.